So Tony actually went through and counted them. He said, okay, there's 104 cleaning companies. Why would people want to work for us? Of all the companies out there, why choose us? We had to look at our whys. We had to change our why. Why, what could we do to attract people to want to work for Jancoa? Mm. And we spent oh, that weekend after the consultant left because we didn't have as much work on the weekends back then. And we really dove into a bunch of books, books that we could find. At, there used to be more than one bookstore in the city. And we just dove into it, how to find people, how to keep people, you know, all kinds of things about HR and people in one of the things he said, okay, let's look at our top 10 employees. Mm-hmm. What do they have in common? So that maybe that'll help us find where to look for the rest. And what the number one thing they had in common was the transportation issues. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Had, Tony so said, the top 10 had the transportation solved. The other ones no, didn't. No. no, they had the top 10 that we depended on the most had troubles with getting back and forth to work. Mm-hmm. They didn't have dependable transportation. Our night managers were spending their time driving people around from building to building and back home yeah. to be able to get the work done. So we thought, well, if we could fix the transportation issues, maybe we can attract more people like them yeah. and, and get the work done. So that was Monday morning, we went out and bought the 15 passenger van. Yeah. And that was the beginning of our shuttle. We're not a transportation company. It was a nightmare. But we did it for three years, tried to make it work. And our turnover immediately, our our shortage, we were 38 full-time people short at that time. Within three weeks, we were 15 people short. So it made a dramatic change in being able to get people because nobody else had transportation either. And it's still an issue. It's gotten better in our region with our t- public transit and stuff. I served on their board for six years. So, you know, when I see a problem, I'm trying to find ways to eliminate yeah. those obstacles to make things better. Mm-hmm.